Hi there guys, this is Tian here from Diagnostics for You here in Cape Town, South Africa. Thank you for watching this video. Please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our page. Thank you. So today we're going to do the, the registration and the updates on the portal, the MP808. They're all the same, if it's a DS808, MX808 or MK808, they're all the same. So the first thing that we need to do, we switch it on and we need to go and connect it to a Wi-Fi network. Otherwise we won't be able to register it. Switch on the Wi-Fi, we need to connect to the Wi-Fi network. Just the password. I fast forward a lot of these pieces to make the video a bit shorter. And while we're here, we can do the time as well. Just select uh, an RM. Just this time zone now. Just for this, uh, we're gonna switch it to 30 minutes for the sleeper. It just makes the updates easier. This is where it asks for an email or to sign in, but we don't have an account, so we're gonna create an account. Put in your email address. When you put in your email address, Portal will then send you a password to your email address. Just press send. And you're going to press OK. And then Portal will send you an email. This is how the email looks. As you can see, it's from Auto. And there's your password 908618. And it comes from Auto directly. It doesn't take long for the email to come. So that's the code that you're going to use. for your email address which I'm not going to share with you register this is your details serial number of the machine and press register so now the registration succeeded so your device is now registered and from here you can go to the data manager data logging Here's your account details. You can see that your email is now on the auto ID. At the end of the video, I'll just show you when you go onto the auto website that you are that I'm now registered there. Of course, I registered the machine by auto. I'm registered on the official auto website. We're going to updates. There's I think two updates that we have to do before we can do all the other updates. So the first one is this update and we have to do that and then restart the system or reboot the system. I'm gonna fast forward it again. This whole update process takes about an hour to hour and a half depending on how good your Wi-Fi is. But luckily you don't have to be there the whole time. It's just two or three updates that you have to do. Now I've gone ahead and forwarded again. It reboots the system, it installs the system update. There you go, go to update again. As you can see there on the top, it says my email address with the serial code of the MP808. If you have a, 
uh, in CAD, it's the same process. Now you will see the others are grayed out, so you can only do this one, so you're going to do that update and forward it again. It's installing. Updating now. Go to update again, and there you go. And then that's the last one. The rest now you'll see all agree. So now we can actually update all of them together, and you can leave the diagnostic machine to do all the updates overnight. Or you see, there's 42 updates available now. Okay, so you press update and then on the top left corner update all. And then you're gonna have to leave it for about an hour, hour and a half. And then I fast forward it again. So it shows everything is done. Then when you go to refresh show that there's no more updates available the update guys um, every second day or third day the portal comes out with another update you see no available update so yeah just to show you all the vehicles that that the mp 8 supports i'm not going to go into any of the vehicles i just want to show you the all the vehicles the manufacturers that's on this machine and then also I want to show you the service functions there's 26 service functions okay guys and then I will show you on the official portal web page that you when you register that you can sign in there and see your devices so it's portaltech.com I already have it as a link here you can go in to sign in and here you're going to put in your email address, your password for your email address, which I'm not going to share with you for security reasons. And then also you have a code at the bottom there. You're going to put that code in and then you will see that your device that you've registered is loaded on the portal web page. You sign in at the bottom corner. You can also see there if you need technical support, they can assist you there but you have technical support on your machine itself. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to share, to like and to subscribe to my page. Thank you very much.